All right, sorry about that. Um, today is the next day. It's actually Saturday, November 2nd. Um, the last clip you saw was me um, editing uh, my Halloween vlog. So today, like right now, I'm going to be working on um, one of the wholesale orders that I mentioned yesterday. Um, it is going to be a store that's opening um, and they're gonna have like pet party supplies and whatnot. So they ordered um, 31 dog mom stickers, 31 cat mom stickers, and then six paw print stickers. So I'm gonna show you kind of uh, me going through that order. Some of it I already have made. Um, let me show you here. So as you can see here, I kind of laid this out just to be efficient, but I already have these dog mom um, stickers printed. So I only need to print some more cat mom stickers, um, the paw print stickers, and then assemble them. And this is kind of kind of the final product. Um, so they the stickers get stuck on a backing card with this double-sided removable sticking tape. It gets on here. This is just like um 110 pound cardstock. They go on cello bag. And then yeah. So I decided to go with the ones that have the hanging clip because I feel like stores it just gives them another option of like how to um display them in their store. And <laughs> let me tell you something funny. I'm so mad. So <laughs> yesterday when I picked up or was yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday I picked up this whole order of backing cards. I got a thousand of them because I was just printing them and cutting them myself, but I didn't want to do that anymore. But when I did that, I made a mistake. So I had them print and cut these at four by six inches because the bag is four by six inches. And when I was cutting them myself, I must have forgot I cut them on the Cricut and I must have forgot that I cut them slightly less than four inches. I probably did just like an eighth inch less so that it could fit in the bag. So I had to, I have to manually cut the bag. I mean, cut the backing. I don't know if you can tell. So that there's this tiny little gap on the side, otherwise the backing card doesn't fit. So now it's better than printing and cutting them all myself, but so now I'm just gonna have to cut all of them eventually, but so that's why I have this, my little exact knife and cutting backing board right here. But anyways, um, I'm going to be printing on, I use the, um, what's it called? The Cricut printable vinyl. And I use my Canon Pixma Pro 100. So I'll be printing those and then I use my Cricut machine to cut them out. Um, this is just the Cricut Explore Air 2, I believe, but it's the Martha, Martha Stewart edition. So I'll walk you through all of that now. So this is the printing and cutting screen of the Cricut um, software online. Um, so I'm going to hit send to printer and then select my Canon. And then I turn the bleed off. I don't want Cricut to add any bleed. And then I want Cricut to open my own print dialog box so that I can change some settings in there. So then I open this. And under quality and media, I change the paper type for Cricut printable vinyl to matte photo paper. Photo paper just and then print quality on high and these are gonna be black and white and then I'll go back to my color options and as you can see I I bump up the contrast a little bit because I've noticed on the Cricut um, vinyl it doesn't print as rich of a black as I like just on its default set default settings compared to like my glossy vinyl it prints really nice and black but I've noticed I have to like just bump this up a little bit for it to print like a nice rich black 
So then I'll hit print, but first I have to load the paper. And I've had some problems with this paper, vinyl I mean, because as you can see naturally it just starts to curl even though I store this. I store it upside down so that it can just try to remain flat, but that doesn't always work. So what I do actually, I'm not going to do this with one hand because I'll mess it up, but I like to roll it backwards so that I can get rid of some of this natural curl because when it prints, um, the printer doesn't like that curl and it will a lot of times print, um, it just prints off like it doesn't pull the paper smoothly and then I'll get rigid lines at the end and in Cricut, it's kind of like your registration marks, this black border. So sometimes down here it'll be crooked, and when it goes to cut, it doesn't read them correctly, the Cricut machine, and everything gets cut wrong. So I'll do that now. Turned out pretty good. Even lines, nice color. Now, stick it on one of these mats. If I can get it off. And these are the off brand ones. Um, I'm sure you guys watch um, Catnip. Here on YouTube, she recommended this brand, and I um, also would recommend this brand. I like it, it's cheaper. Um, you get a three pack on Amazon. I'm trying to think how much it was. I know it's cheaper than the Cricut brand, and it works pretty much the same. Um, so now you just make sure that your sheet matches the sheet on the screen. So, like, it's really hard to see, but my cam moms are facing the right way as opposed to that. And then we're gonna line it up here in the corners. Don't think I can do this one-handed. Maybe. Mm. Oh. Okay, I surprised myself. Make sure it's nice and flat. I'll load it. And then I make sure this um, dial's on custom. And then for custom, go back to the computer here. You have to set the material yourself. So this is gonna be sticker paper. And I like to um, set my cut setting um, on more, just so that it cuts, I don't know, a little bit better. And then your little Cricut uh, button will be flashing. You just hit go.
Okay, so those are done printing. I think they turned out really good. Um, the rest are in here. I just started taking them off, but come off really nice and easy. And yeah, I'm happy with how they turned out. So now I just have to print two more sheets of those, and then I'll cut those out, and then um, do my paw print stickers. Okay, so as you can see, this is how the little paw print turned out. Um, and now, I need one more of these because they ordered six and, oh wait. Oh, I don't need a print on them, never mind. Okay, so now I have all of the dog mom, all of the cat mom, and I'm going to trim I think how many I need. Trim however many I need for these and then I will start assembling. I also quickly just want to mention that um, I do have one of those paper cutters on um, the little Fiskars ones where you just cut with a little blade like that which would be a lot more convenient than cutting them by hand with an exacto knife but I need a new blade on that and every time I try cutting with anything it gets all raggedy and does not look good. So just thought I'd point that out. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later. It's um, Tuesday, November 5th. Um, sorry about that. Um, in my last clip you saw me grab um, this new paper trimmer. Um, I actually decided to <laughs> use one instead of doing um, cutting these by hand with my X-Acto knife just because it was going to take too long. And I went to Joann's and Michael's to look for a replacement blade for this, but I, they didn't sell it and they didn't sell this paper trimmer anymore so it must just be like discontinued maybe I don't know so I was just in a pinch so I just bought this Cricut one it was uh, cheaper anyway so we'll see how it works but I'm gonna look online to see if I can refine that but anywho yep yeah. so I'm gonna trim these out and assemble these now <laughs> wanted to mention how impressed I was with this paper cutter um, by Cricut. I actually really like it. Um, one of the biggest problems I always had with um, 
the Fiskars paper cutter is that when I lined my paper in here, sometimes I'm just cutting off so little um, and I don't know where it was cutting because see how this is clear? You can see, let's see here, that little line there, you can see where it's going to cut. That's where the blade is. So that's really nice. And I even got greedy at the end and I was cutting um, two at a time, which is really good because this is 110 pound cardstock. So two, cutting two at a time is really nice and it, this has like a really nice grip to it and it also has this ruler extension that flips out like that. So I'm pretty happy with it. I believe it was, um, I think it was around $15 or $16 and as you might know, Cricut doesn't um, allow for coupons to be added at like um, Joann's or Michael's. So um, it was full price, but I don't think that's that bad. So I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so as you might have um, noticed, I was pulling some of these off to the side. Um, turns out I didn't cut all of them, the backing cards small enough, so I fixed that now. And sorry for the bad lighting, um, it's dark out <laughs> now, so I have to turn on um, a normal light in the room. But anyways, the next step for these is um, I just cut some strips of a cardboard paper. Well, not cardboard, um, cardstock. And I'm going to, what I like to do is group each, um, product. And then I will, um, wrap this around, um, all of these. And then I tape it with, like, a little washi tape piece here. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so I just went ahead and put this little piece of paper on there. And I taped it. A little washi. So now these are um, 
easier to handle once they take it out the packaging and if they don't want to display them right away and now they're kind of easy to store for the time being so then i'll actually go ahead and package these uh with a handwritten thank you note and some tissue paper and they will should fit in here it probably will stick out a little bit now i'll just, just switch it down um but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comment section below. Bye!